Hey guys, welcome to our Fan Expo Canada 2019 wrap up. Steve here, as you saw uh, just before the intro there, uh, we went to Fan Expo Canada this year. I showed you some footage from the floor uh, there. Um, it was a great time. We had a great time. Uh, we always go to Fan Expo every year. Uh, we love it. Um, but here we are to show our haul. Um, so we're going to start off with a recap of the entire day. So uh, we got into Toronto a little bit later than we wanted to. Um, unfortunately, that caused me to miss a couple things that I wanted to pick up. I was really looking forward to picking up that uh, uh, Jason Scott uh, Gold uh, Rain Gold Ranger and Red Dragon Shield Ranger uh, Hasbro two pack that con exclusive. Um, by the time I was able to get down to the EB Games booth, it was sold out. Uh, they would not sell me anything from the stock the next day. Sad, Steve. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I wasn't able to pick up that. They didn't have any of the other, uh, lightning stuff there. They didn't have the Green Ranger and Putty 2-pack either, or any of the other ones there. Um, I couldn't find them at least, but that EB Games booth was busy and I did miss some spots. Um, but it was a really nice setup in the booth. They had a giant wall of Funko Pops, which we'll get to. And they had all kinds of stuff. They had games. They had a little mini arcade uh, with those new uh, little mini arcade stands that you can buy from them um, set up. They had their exclusives room with all the exclusives. And they even had a clearance wall, um, which was kind of nice. So you could buy stuff that was on clearance. Um, save yourself a little bit of money and stuff. So that was awesome. Um, but uh, before we went in... Uh, we, of course, were out on the streets, and of course, like every fan expo, there is people just giving stuff away outside. And the first thing we actually got was this promotional pin um, for Avengers Endgame. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There it is, a little Endgame pin, a little the Avengers logo all cracked and stuff. So yeah, uh, free Avengers Endgame pins. Uh, this was our first item of the day. It was great. Um Add it to my big uh, backpack of stuff. Uh, next up, of course, we were inside. Uh, I stood in line for an autograph uh, for about 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, for my kid for his birthday. He's going to love it. He's going to be surprised. Um, yeah, so you can't mind that. Psst, it's Pokemon based. Um, and then, of course, we went and started doing our shopping and came up to the EB Games problem, which is fine. But out in my shopping, I just actually want to give a quick shout out. I ran into Tristan from Top Pops, and you can see that picture now. Yes, ran into Tristan from Top Pops and his mom um, and his brother. They were all super nice guys. Um, they gave me a uh, Top Pops pin. Um, I did not bring it in the room with me uh, recording this video. Um, but if you've watched any of his videos and seen their con pins, it's just a cartoon Tristan with a little crown, uh, the little like Freddy Funko crown on his head. Um, so I got that. And of course, a uh, picture with uh, Tristan on my Instagram. Um, and of course, at uh, the Top Pops Instagra Instagram, uh, at Top Pops YT. Um, and of course, you know, if you're not already following Top Pops on YouTube, you probably are. But if you're not, you know... Go look at Top Ops. He has great videos, and uh, I love watching him. It was great to meet him. He was really nice. Tristan, you're super nice. Hope to run into you again um, in the future if you are watching this. Let's get into the hall here. We're four minutes into this thing. Um, let's get into the hall. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, could not at all find um, any of the Hasbro figures. And I was actually going more for... Uh, Hasbro Power Ranger action figures this year than I was actual pops. I ended up getting no Hasbro figures and just pops. So 
yeah, like I said, your plans change and stuff. We are, of course, uh, deluxe uh, pass holders. We have weekend passes. We only want the one day um, because of circumstances. Um, but we also, with our deluxe passes, we got these wonderful Fan Expo Canada 25th anniversary t-shirts. Um, yeah, 25th anniversary, I think. Um, guest list was a little, meh. I, there was nobody, uh, there this year for us that was just like, oh my God. Yes, I know a lot of people love that John Travolta was there. That was a big deal. Um, uh, Jonathan Frakes, uh, from, uh, Star Trek was there, Next Generation, uh, Commander Riker. Um, uh, Zachary Levy was, uh, there again this year from Shazam, Chuck, and of course, uh, Thor 2 and 3. Um, and um, Bruce Campbell was briefly there on Friday. We were not there on Friday. Jeff Goldblum is there today as I'm recording this on Sunday. Jeff Goldblum is there. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, there was a bunch of other ones. There were some anime people, some uh, cosplay people, a couple of YouTubers and stuff besides Tristan. Uh, but he wasn't there as a guest. He as a like a con guest. He was there as a just a. It's a regular Joe Blow like me, and I can't wait to watch his uh, Fan Expo Canada a video. Um, so let's get into this. Um, we are going to finish this off with the one everybody is waiting for, because we went to the Fugitive Toys booth, and they still had some Saturday mystery boxes left over. So, of course, we had to try for the Andy Dwyer, because, as you guys have seen in the previous video, we, up until this Andy Dwyer and Johnny Karate were introduced, we had a complete Parks and Rec set, which of course we no longer have, thanks to Fugitive Toys. So of course I had to get a Fugitive Toys Mr. Box to take a shot at the Andy Dwyer, the Andy Dwyer, and we'll see how I did in just a bit. But let's get started with everything here. Uh, first up, we will show you uh, a Pop Pez. We uh, started uh, this one with a Pop Pez, by the way, everybody. I used my Funko bag from last year um, to do all my shopping this year because it is a giant bag and it is great. Um, so yes, first off, this year uh, we got uh, my first Pop Pez. It's what I'm looking for. I still need the other one uh, for my set because I'm a big fan of uh, this set and I must complete it. But our first item is the Bob Ross Pop Pez with the a dark blue candy holder. You can also get this in light blue. Uh, we don't have that one yet, obviously. Um, so this is our first one. Pop Pez Bob Ross. Um, you know what? I forgot something. Uh, so we're going to take a little break. Um, this might interest a lot of you people out there in Gasol Cast land, especially you and uh, Heather, Chris. Um, so we have been, since we started going to Calgary Comic Expo, uh, we have been interested in a set of comics, uh, Zombie Jesus Versus. Um, we have all the issues in black and white and color. Um, we are big supporters of these guys. Um, they are uh, the 13 Flames Empire. You can go see them at 13 Flames Empire or 13flames.com. Um, they are great. So this is, yeah, this is a zombie Jesus. These are a couple stickers. These will be added to my PC, as you guys have seen on Instagram and stuff. That is a uh, thing. But yes, zombie Jesus. Um, they have him uh, fighting um, Michael Jackson, Hitler, um, um, George A. Romero. Um, and the, he did, the gentleman, the creator, did tell me the next one they want to do is zombie Jesus field versus Bill Cosby, and we are super excited for that. So go check them out, 13flames.com, Zombie Jesus versus, you'll love them, they are fantastic. Let's continue with the pop show. Okay, next up was a booth called a Gamekeeper. Um, they, had, um, they had a bunch of pops for $10, or three for 25, and I wasn't really expecting to pick up anything from them. Um, but, you know, you find one pop, and you find a second pop. So now you got to pick, find a third pop because you want your three for 25. You do. So they were, they had some pops that were $9.99. Any other $9.99 pops were three for 25. So I found out three for $9.99. Um, and, you know, the trending price on 
pot price guide, I think, or the Funk Wap might be a little off for a few dollars, but those are trending prices, so they're averages. So you can't be like, oh, this is only this is five dollars. I will pay no more than five dollars. No, that's a trending price. So you're gonna be paying anywhere between like probably like one dollar to about fifteen dollars for a pop that's listed at like five bucks or something like that. It's just an average. So here we go. The first one was from The Force Awakens, the First Order Flame Trooper. Um, this is one we actually always saw in the stores in Calgary that were always like, oh, if we start the Star Wars, we can't wait to pick it up. And then they disappeared. We could not find uh, the Flame Trooper at all. Um, but now we have the Flame Trooper. And that was the first from that set, from the three for 25 that we picked up. So the second one we picked up, where did we go? There we go. Also from this one is another Force Awakens pop. Um, just pulling the price tag off this, even though you guys know it was $9.99. Uh, the second one, also from the Force Awakens, uh, one of our favorite characters. Um, he's come a little bit off his uh, base, but he's easy. I'll just take him out. He's a common, so I don't mind taking him out and stuff. But we picked up General Hux from Force Awakens. The box condition's a little such, but really I was just buying them to add to, of course the giant wall of Star Wars commons up here. So, you know, I'm not real worried about the boxing. He's just going up. He's a common. So that was it. N N General Hux. And then the last one, the three for 25, is another one I've been looking at for quite a couple years now um, at uh, Fan Expo and other conventions. And um, I'm not going to bother pulling the price tag off this yet. That pain in my butt. Um, but it is the 2017 um, Star Wars Celebration uh, Galactic Convention exclusive Star Wars Rebels uh, Chopper, where he is painted black um, as part of a mission where he's supposed to look like an Empire droid. Um, does They do it in a couple episodes of Rebels. And if you haven't watched Rebels, watch Rebels, people. It is so good. Um so yeah, that was the last one we got here in uh, our 3 from 25 from Gamekeeper. Next up, let's see what we got. Oh, next up is okay. So at that EB Games booth, of course, we did, didn't did walk out of there empty-handed, even though I did not get uh, the uh, things I was looking for. I did get something I was looking for but didn't have a chance to pick up yet. Um it is the E3 2019 limited edition Overwatch Hanzo and Genji 2-pack. Um, this is just a stellar looking 2-pack. I mean, uh, Hanzo and Genji are already two of my favorite characters in the game. Um, but I love these Overwatch pops they're doing with the different skins. Did you see the Sentai Genji that they just uh, announced online? Oh, it looks nice. In fact, I'm going to put it up right now. Look how nice that is. Like, they uh, Blizzard released a, an anime style video for the Heroes of the Storm game where they did all the characters in like, um, like Gundam suits and stuff. It looked awesome. I was like, ooh, those would look like really cool pops. But uh, that Sentai Genji, of course, is a must have for me, of course, because as uh, you guys know, I'm a big Power Rangers fan. So I love the, the, the Super Sentai stuff and oof, cannot wait to get my hands on that. Okay, next up, let's go with this. So, anyways, as you go, of course, as we just talked about, I am a big Power Rangers fan, and so I picked up a few little Power Rangers pops, ones that I was missing, ones that I really, really wanted, and um, uh, one that I needed. I needed just a basic common, and I'm going to tell you something funny about this. So the first one, of course, is the common Yellow Ranger um, from Mighty Morphin Wave 2. Um, so yeah, got this for 10 bucks. Um, there was a booth that we had found first thing in the day that they wanted $35 for this pop and for the Black Ranger common, which I still need, all because they were vaulted. They figured, oh, it's vaulted. It's worth $35 now. I'm like, dude, this has an average price of $9. It is no way, no how worth $35. There's no way you'll sell one of these for $35, at least not to anybody with a brain. Um, Cause yeah, they are, they are super 
not really expensive pops. So um, $35 is just too much uh, for this. Um, but I'm glad I have it. Um, like I said, now I just need the uh, Black Ranger Common uh, for all the uh, Power Ranger Commons for this. And then I just need to round up my Zord collection because I'm running out. So this is going to go right about there. Probably just in behind there. Um, no Power Ranger. Very excited. Getting closer to completing that uh, Power Ranger set. Next up in the Power Rangers, I got. I will take these out of their pop protectors. I put them in pop protectors just for the day. Well, they'll probably stay in pop protectors, but I need more. Um, I had to take these pop protectors off some other pops to take with me to the con um, because I am fresh out of pop protectors. Um, so the first one is another one I am looking for. It was well, not anymore. I was looking for. It is the Walmart exclusive. Alpha 5 from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, I've been looking up for this one for a while. Just never really seen one for a decent price. Here, uh, last year, I think a guy wanted like 70 bucks or something for him. Um, I wasn't willing to pay that. Um, so got him for 30. Um, I think he averages for about 20 or 25 or so. And keep in mind, folks, I am talking Canadian dollars. I put my Funko app and prop price guide into Canadian because... I want to know what I should be paying for them, not the ridiculously cheapness that you Americans get. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, Alpha 5 paid about 30 for him. Super happy to get him as part of my set. I actually don't know where he's going to go um, on my shelf because I have it uh, set up quite interestingly. And I've already got my Alpha 5 uh, uh, pint-sized hero there, but he's up with the Zords. So it just doesn't feel right putting Alpha 5 up with the zords but you know we'll find a spot for them. next up of course is the last of the power rangers ones and this is one i have been looking for since the day it was announced um i heard briefly that canada got a few of these at uh sunrises um because you can't normally get these um i think because we don't have this store as an fye uh pop um but yeah I heard briefly that Sunrise got some with the special edition sticker on it, but I was, I don't, the sticker's okay, I guess, but I wanted a, an FYE one because it was, so here it is. One of, like I said, I've been looking for this for a while. The Dragon Shield Red Ranger from FYE. I just, like I said, as soon as this one was announced, I was like, I have to have this. Um, I loved this uh, storyline. Um, in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when Jason is losing his powers or sorry not Jason because that's Jason David Frank when Tommy Jason is losing his powers he transfers his dragon shield and uh, powers over to uh, Jason the Red Ranger and he's able to control uh, the dragon zord and stuff and then they eventually lose the green ranger powers and then Tommy ends up becoming the white ranger they make the white ranger power coin so like I said I'm looking for this one uh, for a while, was able to get it finally, um, about, about 25 bucks, um, which is a decent price on him here. I haven't seen him yet. Like last year, I think I saw somebody wanted like 70 for him um, when it came out uh, late last year. But uh, yes, Red Ranger Dragon Shield, and he will be going right there. Nope. New. Oh. Mm. oh, while he's going in there. Okay, and then, oh, guys, you do not understand how happy I was when I found this because it saves me having to order it from the U.S. and having to pay shipping and duty because um, by the time that was, <coughs> sorry, I'm talking too much here. By the time I paid for the shipping and duty on this, it would have cost me probably close to double um, not only uh, what this is currently trending for, but also uh, like almost three times more is the purchase price of the pop. Um, but I found out now it doesn't have the exclusive sticker on it, and I don't think you can uh, get the stickers from them, especially since I bought it from a reseller. Here, this is one I've been waiting for, uh, wanting for when it was announced a couple weeks ago, and I'm super excited. 
It is the Fanatics exclusive brown jersey, Baker Mayfield. Oh, I'm so happy to get this. I'm glad I found this. Funny uh, thing about this. So the booth we uh, found it at, um, they are normally at Fan Expo. Um, they are there. They usually have a booth uh, in both halls. They have two booths. Uh, they have one in the main hall where you come in. Um, and then they have one in the lower hall uh, downstairs at Fan Expo, the bigger, bigger area. Um, and so we were uh, downstairs and I had found it and it was listed at, uh, they had, I found a couple of them on the shelf. Um, they were there for 35 bucks and I was like, oh, all right. So I have $4 over the average, whatever. It's still better than thing. But then, so I had a $35 one in my hand and I was going through all of a sudden boats looked down and she saw this one for 30 and I was like um okay so I looked at the box condition and stuff and the box condition was exactly like uh, the other ones it was like perfect minty fresh so I was like I will save myself five dollars and uh get him for 30 instead of 35 uh went to check out and they scanned at 30 bucks so very happy got my Baker Mayfield in the brown browns jersey um to go with the regular Baker Mayfield, of course, in the white jersey. Still looking for a couple more Browns pops. There is a Jim Brown pop out there. And there is a, a Jim Brown, I think it's a pint size hero. I'm not sure if it's a pint size hero adorb because they look the same. I'm pretty sure it's a pint size hero, though. I need the Jim Brown pop, the pop and pint size hero. And then I will have all of the Browns pops because I also have, the, like I said, the other Baker Mayfield and the Johnny Manziel with the removable helmet. That brings us, of course, now, folks, to our very last one. It is the one you've all been waiting for. It's the Fugitive Toys Andy Dwyer Mystery Boxes um, that they're bringing to the cons. It is the $25 one in the States. There are 30 here, but that is fine. It's only five bucks more. So this is the box I got. Yeah, it's in... You can hear, you can hear that it's in a protector or a stack. There is, there is a noise of a holder there. So, um, we went with number 42, number 42, and I went with number 42 because of course, as you all know out there in Nerdland, that 42 is the answer to the meaning of life, the universe, and everything, um, for all you Hitchhiker's Guide fans. So that's why we went with 42. But let's open it up and show everybody which one we got. Do you hope we got Andy? Because I hope I got Andy. But let's take a look. We got... Ah, yeah. So, no, we didn't get Andy. I knew that already going into this. Um, but um, we did get the My Hero Academia Todoroki. Todoroki, is that how it's spelled? Um... It is a con, limited con exclusive glow in the dark. Um, looked it up on putt price guide. It is averaging about 40 Canadian. Um, and we paid 30 Canadian, so profit. Um, now, I don't collect any anime pops um, or My Hero Academia. I've never watched My Hero Academia. So if you are watching this and you need this, it is up for trade. You can hit me up on my DMs on Instagram at Gboats Pop Final. Um, and uh, we can do something. I'm also going to post that this is up for trade in the Gasocast We Hunt Together uh, Facebook group. And uh, yeah, do a trade um, uh, for Todoroki. Todoroki. Uh, if I'm butchering the name, someone in the comments uh, will let me know. So that's it. That is our Fan Expo haul for 2019. Um, we got uh, we got lots of stuff. Not as much stuff as last year. If you saw um, photos and stuff of last year when we were doing the Instagram, we came home with about I'm like close to 50 pops last year. Uh, this year we came back with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you count the two pack as two or one, and one pop Pez. Um, so that is that is a fan air 
our Fan Expo 2019 uh, haul for this year. Uh, tell me what you thought in the uh, comments below. Is there any pop in here that you saw that you're just like, oh, I've been looking at that forever, or that's one of my favorites. Um, were you at Fan Expo? What did you pick up? Let us know in the comments below, of course. And of course, while you're down there leaving a comment, make sure to like <coughs> and subscribe. And make sure you hit that little bell, um, and uh, we will let you know. That little bell will let you know every time we put up a new video. So until then... Have a, a great rest of your weekend and keep it popping.